Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. And if you enjoy our show, please like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. We're also on Instagram at and Sid. also, happy birthday America. We're also on X. We love the 4th. We really do. I mean, when we were kids, it was awesome. We would go out and, you know, get street legal fireworks and, <laughs> and you know, the poppers and everything. But now it's a little much, okay? Because our dogs, dogs in general, cats in general, animals in general, do not like these fireworks, okay? No. And they're very loud. They just are louder than what I can remember when I was a kid, okay? It's like booming, booming. Boom, boom. So tonight we will bury down the hatches and we will uh, crank up the AC so it makes you know, a lot of noise. noise. And then we put on the blues festival on TV because that's loud. They like the bass and we will try to keep them calm. About so, till two o'clock in the morning. I think it stops maybe three, three. Yeah. Or so. so that's our 4th of July. We hope you have a, a happier one. But uh, speaking about 4th of July, and this always happens. I was gone last week, and I called Stephanie the day it happened, and I go, this always happens when I'm gone. Something happens. Something happens where Megan and Harry <laughs> act like complete and utter morons. Yes. Okay? And just disgrace either, you know, Harry's nation or Megan's nation. It doesn't matter. Or veterans. Or veterans in general. Yes. I mean, this is this is a, a an ongoing thing with these two. <laughs> Sucks. Mm -hmm. So we got the ESPYs coming up, which is July 11th. Mm -hmm. And Stephanie and Jen discussed this on our live on Sunday. Every year, uh, they give out the Pat Tillman Award. Mm -hmm. And um, it's usually given to people, some sports involved, but there's also a brave act of valor, you know, because if anybody doesn't know already, Pat Tillman, after 9-11, he gave up a very lucrative football career to go serve. And unfortunately, as a, a U.S. Army Ranger. Yes. And unfortunately, um, he did not come back. And his mom is a gold star mom. She's a wonderful woman, Mary Tillman. You can understand our frustration. OK, and I'm in Canada right now and I'm losing it. OK, Canadians are looking at me like, what is this dumb American freaking out over? You know what I'm freaking out about? I'm freaking out about stolen valor. That is what's happening right now. By Harry getting that award, that is stolen valor. OK, and I put it all up on my Twitter when I was gone, you know, I was just all up there. I, I was just like, oh, my God, I cannot believe this. So I see that our community started a change.org petition to try to get Harry off this thing. And I could not believe it. Like wow. overnight, it was like supposed to be at first the goal was 10,000. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm not kidding. It's almost up to 70,000 signatures. Okay. That's amazing. This is a big deal okay this is a huge deal now will it do anything will it keep harry from actually accepting the pay to play award no absolutely not but it's nice to hear that we have voices and that we are being heard it was nice because i was again i was in canada mm -hmm. and i was watching the local news it made the local news wow it made the the local news and i i was like Wow, we're doing something. Yeah. This is a big deal. The fact that this is making such a global impact. You always talk about Harry and Meghan wanting to make a global impact. Yeah. Well, here they are making a global impact. I mean, I'm sorry. It's disgusting. Mary Tillman, Pat Tillman's mom comes out. She basically says, this is nuts. This is crazy. What's going on, guys? Yeah. What? Really? Are you kidding me? Give me a break. Okay. So... Then I notice on the change.org, the wheels of, uh, you know, uh, BlackRock and the uh, uh, censorship people and the uh, W World Economic Forum mm -hmm. and the Klaus, you know, all those people of the world, yeah. they're getting their sticky little fingers in it. And the uh, change 
dot org. I noticed a uh, th thank you to Resting Dollface because I saw that she put it up. Change.org petition now has a warning on it. Why? Is Harry afraid of almost 50K people's <laughs> truth or our truth? Our truth, a.k.a. our opinion, is you, Harry, are not worthy of the Pat Tillman Award. Sign here. And this is the thing that you see on the actual change.org page now. See that right up there. We have received flags from our users that the facts in this petition may be contested. You should consider researching this issue before signing. I don't need to research Ooh, this issue. Looks like we're getting threats now. Yeah, and you know who that is? I'll tell you who's doing that. You got Sussex Squad, mm -hmm. you know, behind their computers all day and night, <laughs> and Megan included, and they're just like, Flagging it, flagging it, flagging it, because you can flag those petitions because not all petitions are uh, in good faith. Now, the fact that his mother, this isn't just us coming out of the blue and just going, uh, Harry's getting a paid flag. His mother came out and said something. So uh, we have this on TMZ, and I'm really glad that they covered it. And here is, uh, for those of you who have not seen it, I have not seen it. I have mean, not. So, so um, this is exciting. ESPN is uh, sticking to uh, what they said they were going to do. Prince Harry will receive the Pat Tillman Award for Service at the ESPYs uh, later this month. Now, Pat Tillman's mother has spoken out and said that she feels like this is a publicity stunt and that Prince Harry is undeserving because the award typically goes to more unsung heroes. And, People, and, and that Harry is divisive, according to her. Right. She, yeah, exactly. She's the word divisive and that there should be a better person to win this award. That's not necessarily how previous winners of this award feel. Um, in fact, uh, we spoke to a couple of them uh, and they think Harry actually is the perfect person uh, to win this award. Uh, one of the previous winners, his name is Jake Wood. He is a U.S. Marine. Uh, he's also a former college football player and served uh, in Iraq, Afghanistan, also did some work in Haiti. And that part of the story is what I think is interesting here because it parallels with it, Prince it really Harry's does. story. It aligns with what Harry does. Uh, joining us right now, the previous winner of the Pat Tillman Award for Service, Jake Wood, welcome to TMZ Live. Yeah, hey, thanks for having me. Hey, Jake. So I know you're a big supporter of giving this award uh, which was bestowed on you to Prince Harry. Make the case. Yeah, well, listen, I, first of all, I want to say that I, I can only speak for myself. I don't speak for the Tillman family. I, I certainly don't speak for any other veteran or past recipient. But you know, having received the award in 2018, I, I look at you know Prince Harry and I see someone who, who I see as deserving. You know, here's a, a man that served his country, served alongside uh, me and my fellow Americans in Afghanistan. You know, he chose a dangerous job flying Apache helicopters. And you know, let's put it out there. I mean, he's he's a he's a royal prince, right? There's a, a hundred different things that Prince Harry could have done with his life after his service uh, in the British Armed Forces, but he's chosen to dedicate a big portion of his post-military life to helping his fellow veterans, and not just veterans in the UK, but veterans around the world who served as part of our alliance uh, through his effort at the Invictus Games. And I know, you know, hundreds of military veterans from uh, the United States that have participated in the Invictus Games and who have come away, you know, feeling uh, more empowered, more, more fulfilled, a higher sense of purpose. And so from my perspective, again, I think this is someone who has used his celebrity to advance a cause that is near and dear to my heart. And what better way, what better person to honor than that? Jake, you, you mentioned that you know some people who participated in the Invictus Games. Did any of them have come away from, aside from the games, which obviously you understand the benefit of that, um, but any of them have any interactions with Prince Harry and did they walk away with a, a feeling about the man as opposed to just the games? Well, I, I have spoken with people that have interacted with Prince Harry in the past, and they all say the same thing. He's a he's a humble person who you know doesn't come off as as anything other than uh, you know another fellow veteran. You know he wants to sit there and he wants to swap the war stories. He wants to make sure that you know that people are taking care of one another. Um, there was never any sort of air uh, of superiority or anything about him, as was reported to me from people that interacted. Yeah, you know we did a documentary on Harry a few years ago. And um, we heard the exact same thing from people who served with him 
and said he just wanted to be part of the pack and would do things that really shocked people. I remember he was sucking gas out of a tank at one point because it needed to be needed done. To, yeah. And he probably, it was one of the best experiences of his life, he, he told people. Oh, so he goes on about Team Rubicon. Uh -huh. You know, What's and that? he's, uh, it's, it's just like, a, it, it's a lot like, you know, uh, Invictus, Invictus yeah. kind of stuff. But uh, I don't like I, the disrespect on Pat Tillman's mother at the beginning of that yeah, whole like, thing. Yeah, uh, like, I have nothing against, you know, the Tillman family. I, I really, I really they don't, don't know what the hell they're talking that's about. What I, I don't like the disrespect. Pa yeah. uh, Pat Tillman's mother well, was very, very clear on why Harry should not be receiving this award. And that uh, gentleman right there sort of just kind of knocked it, knocked her theory on her booty. Well, you know, Stephanie, you know what's interesting about Jake Wood? Oh, what's ja what Jake, Jake Wood is is also a it's... venture capitalist. Oh. Yes, he's into men. Yes, he, uh, he started, he's the CEO of a company called Groundswell, mm -hmm. a venture-backed software venture capitalist firm. That's so making more sense. It's making sense making now. Making more sense. Yeah, so why he's he, in that, why he's he, in that Serena yes. Williams group. Black Rock, why yeah. why he would tend to want to give Harry his yeah. his little two cents why, there. Why would he care about uh Mary Tillman? She's just some gold star mom. God no. She's not gonna make him money. Gold star moms don't make people money. God. They all they do is cry for their country and support their children. That's all they do. Yeah. That's not gonna well, make that dude money. Yeah. So Jake Wood, you know, he 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 does make a good point. He does. You know, he cares for the Tillman family. He cares for them, but he also cares for Prince Harry. And he also and he cares cannot... for money. Yes. Well, you know, it's interesting because we all know this. This is a fact. I don't have to, like, you know, be fact-checked on this at all. You can try, but um, it, the uh, Invictus Foundation was obviously started by the Royal Foundation. This was something that was uh, sort of like... What are we going to do with Harry now? Harry needs something to do. Uh, he really has nothing else going on. Yeah, we need we something to fill his time. Yeah. Let's give him this. Oh, this is perfect. This is but perfect. let's get William and him going on this. Right. Yeah. And 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 we'll pair it with mental health. That's yeah. perfect. Because maybe we can get him into some therapy too. Yes. At the same time, maybe like push him towards there. Right. And uh, you know, this will be great. This will be great. But see, the problem with Invictus is um it it, it wasn't an original idea. Mm. And here is Harry admitting that it's not an original idea. Interesting. And that it was uh the warrior games. Interesting. The warrior games. Uh, back in America last year. Well, when I was in Washington in 2012, I met a small contingent of the UK team that was representing ourselves and hearing the stories that came back from the games um, really sort of ignited something inside me that made me want to basically broaden this to a, to a wider audience and therefore speaking to the, the relevant people from the uh, Royal Foundation. Um, insisted that I try to get myself there for 2013, which, as you know, uh, we made it. Um, I saw firsthand the power of sport in inspiring recovery, supporting rehabilitation and demonstrating life beyond disability. Um, a group of inspirational people proving that anything is possible. Why bring it to the UK? Well, it was such a, good, such a great concept by the Americans that it had to be stolen. Quite, sim quite simple as that, really. Well, at least, well, at least he admitted it. At least he admitted it. He said, well, you know why we brought it to the UK? Because it was such a great, great idea from the Americans. Yeah. Might as well take it from them. Yeah. And do you think for a second, you guys all remember that video <laughs> of them talking to the Obamas, the Queen? Do you yes. think for a second that if the Queen of England hadn't been involved in that, do you think the Obamas would have taken no. Harry's call? No. 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 So, uh, you know, the Invictus started with the Royal Foundation, with with all the, the pomp and circumstance, and Harry and Meghan have now made it this uh, joke. Yeah. It's a joke. It's a big joke. It's and a, and, a and joke. just like Jen and I said on Sunday, Nancy and I are starting to peel away at this onion. We are getting you to guys that are next, next show. The next show, the show after that, we are peeling away 
Where does the money come from? You guys are going to love this. Where's the SB money come, well, coming from, people? It's we not, need to know. It's it's not just the SB money. It's a new uh, a thing that uh, Archwell mm -hmm. is doing as well. Now, if you guys have not seen these videos yet, I want you to watch our videos on Harry and the queen of censorship, that's that girl to the left that like went, Facebook is doing this. Facebook, get this. <laughs> um, Harry and the queen of censorship teach kids that free speech is not cool. Let's I put will put the link of that one down. You guys, um, if you have not seen it, if you want to refresh your brains on that, because a lot of this stuff has to do with the same censorship. A lot of stuff has to do with these hope labs yep. and these, uh, I, I'm telling you guys, these guys, these guys are in it. They're, they're, in, they're it. in it to win it. And then the Equimundo, um, how, <laughs> man, I took a deep dive. That was the day you went to the mountains, but I was, I did a yeah. deep dive on Equimundo. So that's just me. If you guys have not seen the Equimundo one yet, please see that because that also uh, shows all the dark money that they are involved in. And then of course, Project yes. Healthy Minds. They just want your kids. That's who they want. They, they wanted, want to they take want your kids' minds. They want to take Gen Z, okay? Because they know that, you know, our, we're not idiots. You know, millennials. Millennial, millennials and Gen X are not we're, falling for these shenanigans. Not, yeah, exactly. But they want to take Gen Z, and they definitely want to, you know, mess with your kids' heads. I'm telling you guys. Brainwash. If you don't believe us, I I put proof in all these videos. I don't just say this willy-nilly. If I, if I do say something that is my opinion, I always say that's our opinion. Mm -hmm. But I usually have evidence to back it up. So if you have not seen those three videos, I will put the links in the description below. Watch those tonight because tomorrow we're going to hit the ground running because we got a lot of information that I'm finding out on this new venture of theirs. And it's really really scary. Another thing that the Sussex squad is doing that I find absolutely disgusting. I want to try to, you know, there's more of this guys, but they are going after Mary Tillman, Pat Tillman's mom. Not cool. A gold star mom. Not cool. Look at some of the things that they are saying. Can you believe this? I just read in a New York post that Mary Tillman isn't happy that Harry's getting her son's namesake award. I smell a touch of jealousy. Her son is gone. How dare you? This one's really rich. Has Mary Tillman met Prince Harry? Is she making her opinion known based on personal feelings or what she read online? This is why we are where we are. I'm damn tired of two-bit BS assessments by anyone without knowing the facts. She has tarnished the award, not ESPN or Harry. That Sussex water just talked about a gold star mom like that. No, I, what is with them in elder abuse? Like, really? Oh, they, they're the worst. Worse, the Post quotes Mary Tillman speaking to the Daily Mail, the new site Prince Harry successfully sued. She became a tool of the British tabloid media. They will use anyone to reach their targets. Too bad Mary Tillman didn't get it. <laughs> Too bad you're a... So I now they're so. just accusing her of being uh, dumb. Wasn't smart enough to get it. Yeah, like, oh, they just, it's, she's just she's not that bright. bright. Yeah. Man, yeah, so they you know what? You, just, you guys need to, to F off. Yeah. So, yes, unfortunately, ESPN is uh, backing them. They're saying, hey, we're we're not going to we're not going to change it. Now, this might be good. This might be good because we got Megan on the carpet. You know, we're going to see Megan do a do a red carpet mm -hmm. and uh, Serena will be. I mean, it might, it, you know, it, it, it's going to be interesting either way. Uh, yeah. Might need a lot of Pepto-Bismol that day. Though. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Xanax and Pepto. <laughs> OK, so then I also saw this while I was gone. Now, what is uh, this? OK, so there's a video to it. And the person with the video uh, says this. Let me play it for you guys. You casually see Meghan Markle on your Beverly Hills City Trail morning walk. Now, um, let let me explain something. That's not a, a, a you don't go just walking like that. Yeah. With um, an entourage with a makeup bag 
and uh, someone who looks like they're positioning either a watch or a necklace or, mm -hmm. or something. That so. looks like a costumer of some <laughs> sort. She's she's either putting on a bracelet or she's she's uh, trying to get her sleeves to go up. You yes. know, normal people can put their own sleeves up. I I, I can. I look, can do I'm it right here. now. Right now, look, I'm putting my sleeves up. Yeah, so it's either an ad for her dumb cooking show oh lord where she's gonna be like i'm megan i'm what this is what i do every or morning. her mushroom feet tea <laughs> or her mushroom feet tea um it could be anything let's play the video one more time she definitely saw the camera and the second she saw the camera is when she started laughing, laughing yeah <laughs> <laughs> look I at laugh. me i'm happy all the time yeah but that's obviously a shoot so yes. um no, Megan was not just uh, trail walking in, in Beverly Hills. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good good call, guys. But that we will know what that is soon yes. enough. Today's animal rescue is Mo for Paws. It's a nonprofit animal rescue and adoption organization dedicated to saving the lives of dogs and cat companion animals. They are for the voice for the voiceless. I'm going to put their link in the description below. Please, please, please. Go take a look at them, show them some love, share them with friends and family. It really does make a difference. Everybody have a happy 4th of July if you're in America and uh, try to keep the fireworks, please, at a minimum. We are trying to get our dogs to stay calm tonight. You could give them some CBD. You could turn on some music for them. You could turn on the air conditioning. But just don't do those boomers. No. No boomers. Yes. Please. <laughs> God bless America, land that I love. Doom, doom, doom. Stand beside her and guide her through the wide and I don't know the the of the above. God bless America, everyone. God bless America. Happy Fourth, everybody. Stay safe. Keep your free speech. Don't drink and drive. Yeah. Love you. Love you guys. Mom, mom.